welcome to Twenty-Two Interview Show. Today our guest is Mr. Tulkowski. He is a vice principal at our school. How old are you when it's your birthday? Well, that's a great question. My birthday is on November 5th. And the year I was born is 1973, which, oh my goodness, is a long time ago. So I'm going to let you figure out how many years that is. But that's my birthday, November 5th, 1973. Who is in your family? Oh, uh, so in my family, I have um, my wife. Her name is Marlene. And I have two daughters. One is Madison and one is Mia. What? I know. So Madison is, like your name, Madison is uh, 15 years old, and she goes to high school. She's in grade 10. And Mia is 10 years old, and she's in grade 5. What is your favorite food? Why? Um, I like so many different kinds of food, so that's a tough question. But I'm going to say that my favorite food is pasta. And I like it because I think it's just so warm and comforting when you eat it. Um, especially, I like tomato sauce with meat in it or in different kinds of vegetables. And it could be a lasagna, it could be spaghetti, it could be different kinds, but I think pasta. What is your favorite animal? Why is it your favorite animal? Um, I think my favorite animal is the polar bear. And I choose polar bear because I love seeing, they just always look so happy. When you see them, even if they're just walking around in nature, I guess maybe it's the shape of their face um, and maybe all of the experiences of times when I've seen them at the zoo and I see them, you know, sort of swimming and rolling around and playing and they just always seem so happy to me and uh, they're beautiful. I mean, polar bears are huge and, and beautiful creatures and I just, uh, I really, I really like them. They're my favorite. Do you have a pet? Why not? Or why? We actually don't have a pet. Um, we are, our family love dogs and we love um, animals in general, but specifically dogs. And uh, we would love to own a dog, but we don't because the fact is we're very busy. Both of my daughters play sports and they practice many times a week and we have lots of games. And so we're always out and we're always at different locations for them. And so we always feel that it would be unfair for us to own a dog because we would not be able to give it the attention that it needs. And, and I just think that's how we, we think about that. But maybe down the road when um, our kids, my kids are not playing sports, we, we might have a dog then. What is your favorite color? Um, a kid children's movie, why? My favorite children's movie? Oh, that's a really hard one. Um, I think my favorite children's movie, um, I'm going to go with uh, Shrek. I don't know if you've seen the movie Shrek, but it's one of my favorites because I really think it's a very funny movie, and I just love the storyline. I love the idea that all of those fairy tales that are in the movie all get uh, jumbled together and all of the characters appear, and it's just a really creative, fun movie, and I think that's my favorite children's movie. Closely followed by... Jumanji. I think the recent one, the recent Jumanji is a really great movie too. Yeah, it's very fun. Where is your favorite place in the world? My favorite place? Oh, my favorite place is probably Toronto. I love our home. I love our city. I think it's such a great place. Um, I'm always, uh, I'm always thrilled by the idea that when I go out into our city, I can see something new all of the time. Uh, there's so many great restaurants. There's so many great places to visit and of course so many great people. So I love our city, but if you ask me to think about a, a, a place that's not Toronto, um, somewhere else in the world, um, you know, I might think about uh, places we vacationed, like in Mexico. I really love uh, Huatuaco, Mexico, is a really great place that I visited. What was your favorite toy when you were a kid? Why? Um, I think my favorite toy when I was a kid was probably my hockey stick um, because I got to go outside and it led to so many great uh, memories with me playing hockey with my friends in the street um, and, uh, and I think that's probably my favorite toy. It was, it was a lot of fun growing up to play what we call road hockey or street hockey. I'm not sure if anyone here plays road hockey or street hockey but it was always a lot of fun for me. Why did you become a teacher? 
Well, I always really liked working with kids. I think that when I was uh, when I was young, when I was your age, I always went to day camps, and I spent a lot of time um, working with younger kids when I was in day camps and spending time. And I always just really enjoyed watching how kids learn, and so I think that's what led me to being a teacher. What is the best part of your job? What is the worst part of your job? Um, well, the best part of my job, that's an easy one. The best part of my job is that I get to spend lots of time doing things like this and, and seeing kids and watching the learning. And I really like working with the teachers that are at Davisville and Spectrum because that's always uh, you know, a great opportunity to um, meet people and to, and to learn about their ways that they are great teachers, just like this show. I think this is such a fabulous idea. And uh, so when I get to work with teachers and I get to work with kids, I get to see all the really cool ways that kids are learning. Um, the worst part of my job is probably when, um, you know, I have to deal with, you know, situations where kids have made mistakes. Um, I think that, uh, you know, having to work with a kid who, say, got hurt outside, um, you know, they fell down, they were doing something they weren't supposed to, maybe another student threw a snowball or something like that and, and it hurt someone. Um, you know, those are the worst parts of my job. When I, when I have to work with um, situations where, you know, kids are injured, I think is, is what I would say. What did you like to do when, what did you like to do when you were not at school? When I'm not at school, well, um, I still I still like to um, play hockey. So that's something I said I love to do when I when I was when I was a kid. I still play hockey. I played last night, as a matter of fact, and uh, so I enjoy that. I like going to movies. I like going to restaurants and spending time with uh, my family and my friends um, outside of our home and, and in our community. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. I don't know why. I just like it. What is your favorite children's book? My favorite children's book. I love the child. The I don't know if you've read it, but it's called *The Kissing Hand* by Audrey Penn, and it's a book about a first day of school book where there's a very young raccoon who is um, going to school for the first time, and the raccoon is missing, worried about missing home. And the raccoon's mother says, here, I'm going to kiss your hand. And every time you think about home and are missing home, you could just sort of rub it on your cheek and remember that I'm thinking about you. And then at the end of the story, um, the, the young raccoon that's going off kisses the mother's hand because the young raccoon knows that the mother will miss him just as much as uh, he will miss her. So it's a really great book. We actually have lots of copies downstairs. And if Mrs. Rollins is okay with that, I'd love to come and read it to your class because it really is a great book. It's my, one of my favorites. If you had one million dollars, what would you do? I think that if I had one million dollars, I would definitely do um, some traveling. I want to see lots of parts of our world. Uh, I think that, uh, I, you know, I've been to different parts of our world, but there's so many places to go. Um, and if I had to choose one, I would probably choose Hawaii. I think I really want to go to Hawaii and see Hawaii. Uh, so if I had a million dollars, that's where I would start. Thank you so much for being on our show. Oh, it was my pleasure. I really enjoyed it. So much fun to come and see you. Join us next time for our another another interview show in on the on the room two twenty two interview show. Good job.